Yay! Woohoo! Hey guys! Ziri11 here, and today we got a hobby box of 1920 artifacts! Yay! I've been looking forward to artifacts all this time! Well, to be honest, retail ruins this product. Like, I just can't appreciate or like this product at all if this exists. This is 12.13, but still. Um, stay tuned for Artifacts 5, by the way. Long overdue. I've been sitting on this for months. But still, retail ruins artifacts for me. But there also is some flaws with the hobby. So, in the hobby, you get eight packs of box, including three autograph memorabilia or aurum cards, which is not a freaking hit. It's a UD bounty card. So, um, yeah. That's one really major red flag there. You could get two hits. This stuff costs like 120 bucks Canadian. Um, so a typical break, you get three hits, which might be an Orum, might be a garbage auto fax. You could get some really nice stuff. You could get some one ones but still. Um, and you get one rookie redemption per box. So you got to send that in and expect it in March. Woohoo, yay. And um, get like four serial number cards on top of that. So yeah. Artifacts. Also, I got Overtime Wave 1, 1920, so we'll check that out after Artifacts. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying Artifacts again. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into Artifacts and see if we can actually pull anything. I do like the, the box. That looks nice. I like that. You got Connor McDavid for the 700th time on an Upper Deck product. But, yeah... Okay, I believe uh, Crosby's going to be on uh, Series 1, which is... Well, Crosby's been on a bunch of stuff as well, so... Well, yeah, alright. Claim your bounty. So here's the Aurum Hit cards. See details inside. Collect a 48-card set. Scratch them off. Claim your 0506 Aurum Retro Rookie cards. Yeah, you're going to get Austin Matthews right there. First 25 collectors have also received the 0506 Aurum Retro 9-card set and a Retro Austin Matthews Auto. Yay. I've never done any UD bounty thing. They brought it in uh, a few years back. I just, I don't care at all. So yeah, there's eight packs. Wow, amazingly, there's no, um, like, star foam there. Alright. Let's open up some artifacts. First pack up. Alright, let's just go with it. So here's the base. We got something here, but here's the base. Let's just put that down. Alright, so here's the base. We got John Gibson. I mean, it's hit, hit or miss. Some people like this, some people don't. I'm kind of mixed. Some years I do don't mind, but um, some years I'm, yeah, I really don't like. But yeah, there we go. Artifacts. Base card, 1920. Pretty standard. Next up is, uh, what is this? It's number to 125. We got a jersey card. Austin Matthews. Probably my, my new favorite player. Don't ask what. Well, yeah. Probably know why, but yeah, um, it already was, but yeah. There we go, Austin Matthews, dual jersey, so that's cool. Um, number 54 of 125. A little gold to it. I mean, that's not too bad, Austin Matthews. Good player, uh, been using official NHL games, so you got a game used uh, material there. There's two jersey swatches, though. Point that out, there's two jersey swatches, and uh, a freaking decoy that has white sides on it. Ah. Uh. And uh, Alex Tuck. So I only got three cards in there. You should get four cards, I guess, if it's uh, like a jersey or something. They'll remove other base cards. Or if it's a pack, there probably won't even be any base cards. Maybe like one base card. But yeah, next pack up of artifacts. Okay. We got Patrick Hornquist. Jake Gensel. And we got a rookie. Vitaly Abramov. Rookie. Um... You got Franz Nielsen, so, is that, okay, we got Vitaly Abramov, uh, former Blue Jackets prospect, I believe he played in the queue, he's Russian, um, yeah, he was part of the Duchesne trade, right, but yeah, he's from Chelyabinsk, same place as freaking Kuznetsov and Slava Voinov, so, you can see excellence in the future for Vitaly Abramov, <laughs> there you go, Vitaly Abramov, Alright, so that's one of the numbered cards. Um, should get four of them. Yeah, there we go. Next pack up. Um, 
Tyson Jost, Milan Lucic, still on the Oilers. And we got a parallel card. It's like an orange, maybe, or bronze. Gold. I really don't care. It's maybe this is a star parallel of Leon Dreisel, number 13 of 299. Leon Dreisaitl, 13 of 299. Okay. Jeez. Uh, and then we got Ryan Nugent Hopkins. I guess we got some Oilers in that pack. Well, former Oiler and Luch each there, but yeah. All right, next pack up. Artifacts. That's another numbered card. Expect uh, four of those. All right. You got Casey Middlestat. Disappointing first year. Here's our redemption. Or redemption. Whatever. Rookie uh, caps. Washington Capitals. Regular redemption. Uh, Chris Letang. Andreas Athanasiu. I'm not sure who's going to make it from the caps. I'm not really paying attention to caps a whole lot. But yeah, there you go. Washington, Washington Capitals Rookie Redemption Artifacts. And these, when do they expire? Um, this card expires September 30th, 2021. So you got two years. That's another big problem with Artifacts. You want to go buy a product that's like, I don't know, 14, 15 or something. Pull these, can't get anything from them. So yeah. They do have their raffle thingy, expired redemption, but uh, still, that's just this proc isn't good to open in the long run either. Just, just a lot of red flags. All right, we got an emerald. Maybe it's a patch. Maybe we get something nice here. Uh, Tom Wilson. Let's just take the card from the back. Tyler Bozak. Um, Elias Lindholm. Or do we got a decoy? Oh, we got a decoy. Oh, it's dang. It's just an emerald numbered card. Usually the emeralds are like patches, but yeah, got Logan Couture, new captain, number 57 of 99, emerald, emerald, 57 of 99. All right, final three packs of artifacts, and uh, when I got the box, right when I got home, I uh, was so enthused, I took a nap. I'm not even joking. I took a nap. I was like, oh, I gotta record this. No, I need to go take a nap. I can wait. <laughs> Vinny Hinnestroza. Uh, what the heck is that? Uh, oh, sorry, Thomas Shabbat. Looks like we might have a on card card. Oh, no way. Okay, all right. Well, uh, uh, maybe I should stop hating on artifacts. We just got a hard sign, Gila Florado. Geez, talk you freaking idiot. Number 23. Of tw oh man, 23. Wow. Esteem endorsements. These are some of the nicest ones in here. I didn't expect to get one of these. Actually, hard size. Not an autofax sticker auto. So maybe I should hate on artifacts a lot less. Just a retail. Um, because hobby, you can get really nice stuff. That's really nice. Guy Lafleur hard sign auto. That's very nice. So yeah, there you go. All right, two more packs. I'm not sure what we're needing. Probably an Orem card because we got a Matthews jersey and a Gila Fleur dual jersey and a Gila Fleur auto. So I mean, this box has been really solid. Can't deny that. We got Jimmy VC. Okay, here we go. Um, ben Bishop. I guess there's only three cards in there. But we got Jesper Bratt. So we got did actually get three hits. Dual jersey, 158 of 165. There's a lot of those there. Jesper Bratt. He might break out. He had some pretty good numbers in uh, f only 51 games last year. 33 points. Um, we'll see. But yeah, Jesper Bratt, dual jersey. And the final pack. Should be a numbered card, but we'll see. Alright, we'll see. We got Duncan Keith. Yeah, there we go. It's just a, what is it, a star player card. Um, Andre Kopitar, 695 of 699. Sean Couturier. And Dougie Hamilton. I also got that overtime pack, so I might as well open it before uh, I finish off this video here. Man, I'm tired. It's been a hectic week. All right. All right, so here's overtime. Let's have a look at that. We got Anders Lee. Um, Anders Lee. That actually looks pretty good. I don't mind that. Um, there's your distributors right there, GTS and Universal. Um, yeah. There you go, Anders Lee. Right, what else we got here? Jimmy VC. Uh, we got blue, your standard blue in overtime. Tyler Toffoli. And um, winners, Tomas Hurdle. 
<laughs> against the Golden Knights. Is that a game seven there? Uh, okay, well. All right, well, there's that. So, yeah, guys, um, Artifacts Hobby is pretty darn good. Like, well, I don't know if it's darn good. Like, you could strike up big time or you could get a Gila Fleur Auto, but there you go. Um, I mean, that's pretty darn good. Um, I should probably uh, hate on Hobby less, but um, retail is just so bad it just brings the entire product down. Like, I'd like this product a lot more if it came out mid-season. There's no redemptions. And retail doesn't exist. Like, I would actually really like this product. But, yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.